All right, by now you should have set up your first bootstrap page and you should be using the W3 schools as your reference. We're gonna get started with the grid. Bootstrap grid system allows you to set up 12 columns across your page and you can work them with them together. So the bootstrap has four classes, extra small for phones, small for tablets, medium for desktops, large for larger desktops. And you can combine these to create some flexible uh, dynamic layouts. So when you're working with it, each set of columns has to be in a row. So let's play with this and we're going to go ahead and use small and stack some things and we're going to put some colors in them. So I'm going to go into brackets. I'm going to go into the main part of my body here. I've got a container and here at the top I'm going to go ahead and put in dot row and inside my row is where I will put my columns. Now, do I actually need the row here? Oh, probably not because this one I'm going to have set to be a full 12 columns. So I'm going to do a dot call small 12, hit tab, And that will make this div go completely across the page because it's a 12 col it's taking the full 12 columns. So under that, I'm going to put in another row, dot row, and I'm going to put in a col dot call small six. And then I'm going to have another and let's set um, we can set some additional styles in here actually I think we can do a dot c o l o star border one px solid black. I just want to show where the edges of those adjustable. Let's see if that worked. I think I need to save file save all nope that didn't work it was worth a shot so do dot mary call border 1 px solid black you don't need to do this and you can do it with your own name but i do want to show you that you can stack multiple classes together so here while i'm using that i can also have dot mary call um let's not do it that way Let's just call it dot Mary because that's not really columns. It's okay, so index. So we can have class and we can type in Mary after each one of these. So this is applying both classes and that should, something's overriding it. Hmm. Oh, because it's spelled wrong.
Okay, there we go. I just want you guys to see where these columns break down. So we'll just apply that second class to each thing that we do. So I'm going to go back into my index and we're going to do a few more columns here. We're going to, and to do this, we're going to have to put in a, a row and then I can do a uh, dot call small four and multiply that by three and that should give me and I think I can just do a dot Mary after that and then tab and there we go so I now have four additional columns I could have added the text in Emmet as well. And so I have six columns, four columns. We're going to do one more. And then we're going to make them work on resizing. So I'm going to do a dot row. And then I'm going to do a dot call small two dot Mary containing two columns and then we can just multiply that by six and you can see how much Emmet is helpful save everything and so you can see we've got this basic grid work, but at this point, because we don't really change it, it will automatically change to a single column, but we can actually have some things change in addition to that because you can list multiple columns. And we'll work with those grids a bit more, but you can have it set up later where you're working with multiple columns. But I want you to actually do samples of different combinations of 12 columns. I want you to have at least five rows. I've done three. Um, you can do the same ones that I have, but you need to do two more. And go ahead and label them the way I have to show that it works and just play with them a bit for the responsiveness. But I want you to work with just creating those rows and columns. I actually have four here because this one's a 12 column, I have set up with six columns, four columns, two columns. You can do unequal columns as well. I encourage that. But you need to have at least five, col uh, five rows with different column combinations labeled and displayed. So that's just your learning to use columns exercise. And I'm actually going to save this, or I'm using to use the grid. I'm actually going to save this in brackets. You do file save as grid demo dot html and then I can open up the index one again and I can actually get rid of these here because I've got them in the grid demo and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start linking to my different bootstrap pages so I'm going to put in a row uh, containing dot call small three plus dot call small six plus dot call small three. Okay, so I'm going to leave three and three blank. I just want to center my content in here and I'm going to put in my links here. So I'm going to label this as nav and I'm going to have an unordered list with, um, we're going to keep building on this for a few days. So let's put in like four list items
and I will link to griddemo.html so that way I can link to different pages for each and I'm going to just copy the index page over for each one so I can use this top over again so now we're set up we've got our index page we've got our grid demo you'll hand that in for the first project or lab 